Hello friends, the question is like this. We have to evaluate the value of this integral 1 upon x minus x cube. Okay, or we have to integrate this function 1 upon x minus x cube with respect to x. Now to solve this question, first of all, I am going to convert this fraction, which is a cubic expression in x, into its factor. Okay, so this can be written as 1 upon x into 1 minus x square and further 1 minus x square can be factorized as 1 minus x into 1 plus x so this integral is equal to 1 upon x into 1 minus x into 1 plus x dx okay now next what has to be done is this that we have to convert this fraction into its partial fraction to solve it further okay so to convert it into partial fraction, I'm going to write this fraction as a upon x plus b upon 1 minus x plus c upon 1 plus x. Correct? All the three were linear factor. Therefore, I'm going to get the partial fraction like this. Now we are going to take the LCM. So left hand side as it is, right hand side is going to become a into 1 minus x into 1 plus x plus b times x into 1 plus x plus c times x into 1 minus x and the denominator is x into 1 minus x into 1 plus x that is the LCM of these three terms. Both the denominators are equal on left hand side and right hand side so they are going to cancel out. So I am going to get 1 is equal to a into 1 minus x into 1 plus x plus b times x into 1 plus x plus c times x into 1 minus x and I mark this as equation number 1. Now with the help of this equation number 1 I am going to solve for the value of a, b and c. Now we are going to see the calculations of the values of a, b and c. Now because the term containing x or the fraction containing x has the denominator equal to x therefore placing x is equal to 0 in equation number 1 I am going to get 1 is equal to a into 1 minus 0 into 1 plus 0 plus b into 0 into 1 plus 0 plus c into 0 into 1 minus 0. So you can see these two terms which contains b and c are going to become 0 and the product of these two terms would be equal to 1 so I am going to get a is equal to 1. Similarly the denominator of the fraction which has b is equal to 1 minus x so placing 1 minus x is equal to 0 or x is equal to 1 in equation number 1 I'm going to get 1 is equal to a times 1 minus 1 into 1 plus 1 plus b times 1 plus 1 plus c times 1 into 1 minus 1. So these two terms are going to become 0. 1 minus 1 is 0, 1 minus 1 is 0 or I'm going to get 1 is equal to 2b or b is equal to 1 upon 2. Similarly placing 1 plus x is equal to 0 or x is equal to minus 1 in equation number 1 x is equal to minus 1 is going to be placed in all these places in equation number 1 instead of x. So I am going to get 1 is equal to a times 1 minus minus 1 plus 1 minus 1. So this is going to become 0. b times minus 1 into 1 minus 1 that is going to become 0. And this on solving is going to give me minus 1 into 2 that is minus 2 or minus 2c. Minus 2c is equal to 1 or c is equal to minus 1 upon 2. Therefore this fraction is going to give me the partial fraction as equal to 1 upon x because a is equal to 1 plus 1 upon 2 times 1 upon 1 minus x because b is equal to 1 by 2 and c is equal to minus 1 by 2 so third term would be minus 1 by 2 times 1 upon 1 plus x. Okay so to integrate this we have to integrate this fraction and instead of this fraction I can write its partial fraction. So integration of 1 upon x minus x cube with respect to x is equal to integration of 1 upon x dx plus 1 by 2 times integration of 1 minus x dx plus sorry minus 1 by 2 times 1 upon 1 plus x dx okay integration of 1 upon x is log x integration of 1 upon 1 minus x would be minus 1 by 2 times 
log of 1 minus x and minus 1 by 2 times log of 1 plus x. This 1 by 2 which multiplies with log 1 minus x can be written as 1 minus x to the power of 1 by 2. And similarly 1 plus x because it has 1 by 2 multiplying with this term of log can be written as 1 plus x to the power of 1 by 2. Okay, so this, uh, these two terms can be written as log of 1 minus x to the power of 1 by 2 minus log of 1 plus x to the power of 1 by 2. Okay, on combining all these three terms, I'm going to get this as log of x upon 1 minus x to the power of 1 by 2 into 1 plus x to the power of 1 by 2. Here the sign of modulus are placed because the term inside the log function cannot be negative. Although I'm not reading this as modulus of x for the sake of simplicity. So this, uh, these, all these bars, these represent the modulus function. Okay. And similarly, this can be written as log of x upon 1 minus x squared to the power of 1 by 2. Further, this power 1 by 2 is written to the power of this whole term by making x as x squared. Okay, so I've raised x to the power of 2 and placed the power 1 by 2 in the bracket. So I'm going to get this as 1 by 2 log of x square upon 1 minus x square plus c. So this is my required answer. To watch more of these super videos and for the latest update, subscribe and like the videos on these YouTube channels HSK Shiksha and Maths Help by HSK. Thank you.